Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Siege of Malbarge, which was fought between the German Empire and the French Republic, located on the northern border region of the Belgian-French border from August 22nd to September 7, 1914. Malbarge was a key French town on the Belgian-French border. It was the home of five different railway lines, making it a key logistical supply location for the French army, and therefore it was an important target for the German army. In order to defend this town, the French had built 15 forts with supporting artillery batteries numbering more than 430 artillery pieces. In addition, the town had implemented members of the British Expeditionary Force to the already substantial 35,000-man garrison. In late August, the retreating French army caused alarm in the town. This hit the high point when on August 23rd, the town was cut off, and on August 25th, the Germans began the actual siege of the town. The town held out against incredibly harsh artillery bombardments, reducing all the forts to rubble. The Germans would start with one fort, reduce it, then move on to the next fort, continuing their overwhelming bombardment until it was destroyed as well. The Germans repeated this for all 15 forts. After 13 tough days, French General Fournier did the only thing he could. He surrendered to the defenders of Mabage to the German army. General Fournier was eventually court-martialed by the French command, but found not guilty for his surrender. The one bright side to this is the French forces had significantly slowed the German army down at this time, throwing off the German high command's timetable. The total casualties for the French were horrific. 46,300 men, including 1,300 killed and 45,000 men captured. In turn, the Germans suffered a lot less with a total of 2,500 casualties. This included killed, wounded, and missing. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.